folks. We are back for another round here. This is the continuation of our detailed coloring tutorial for comic books. You'll see that I went ahead and finished putting the flats down on our super guy here. And uh, about 30 years ago this piece would be pretty much done. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and um, add some uh, some more detail to it here and away we go now we've got our flats established uh, which is very important and again remember when we did this we used only lasso pencil didn't take any shortcuts uh, didn't use the bucket uh, and the wand selecting like the line art uh, reason being you see I'm gonna turn off the um, black copy layer here and now of course this looks kind of crazy but it's it's all full. Uh, you see that underneath um, all of the, the black line art, you see solid colors. And that's going to be important during the print process. So that's that's what we're looking for here. Um, so it's good to uh, to com color completely. Uh, we should actually probably go through and and fill up some of these other areas here, but we're going to uh, for now just keep moving with what we've got because this will work for today. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to start adding some shadows and highlights. There are a lot of different ways to do this. Uh, of course, the way I'm about to show you right now is the way I recommend. And we're going to start with a couple of simple procedures. Um, all of your um, different colors here should be separated if you did your flats properly. And so anytime you want, you can simply select on one of those big old chunks. And that's going to be your um, your flats that you're going to work with. Now I'm noticing right there that our legs and our torso are together. And what that is, that's a result of the anti-alias slash contiguous settings that we that we set earlier. I'm going to turn contiguous back on and all that's going to do is select the area that I'm trying to select and not all of one color. But keep in mind that taking that contiguous off is going to select everything and, and not just the one part. So if you want to select all of one type, that's a good, uh, that's a good tool to use. But uh, we're going to start with the upper torso here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my gradient tool. And I'm going to kind of mess around with it a little bit, see what kind of uh, effect I get here. What we're going to be going for, oh, whoops, wrong color, stay with the hair color there. Uh, what you're going to be going for here is that some um, areas are going to be closer to your light source than others. And so you're going to have darker areas at the bottom and lighter areas at the top. And you're also going to want to kind of follow your shading a little bit where you got a lot of black, you want to stay pretty dark. So I'm going to kind of play around with that a little bit. Move down to the legs here. Exactly after how that first one came out, so I'm gonna. There we go, and so now you got just some kind of basic, um, you know, changes in in the hues. Um, here also, just kind of putting a little lighter shade on the uh, upper bits of the color here. That's all. It's a good start. It's just going to kind of simplify things for us just a little bit. And, um, oh, got to do his face here. I'm not 
sometimes takes you a couple of tries to get it right. No big deal. And so now we're off to a start. Um, now the next step, we are going to. Oh, just noticed that I accidentally colored in his little glove area here. So I'm gonna fix that real quick. Um, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding some detailed highlights and shadows. And rather than use the brushes any further, I'm gonna go ahead and now start using the dodge and burn tools. Um, I find it's easier for me to add shadow first and then go back to the highlights. Um, but, um, well, scratch that actually. First thing, I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to be doing combinations of gradients and um, and brushes here on this one. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to our lasso tool. Now, remember earlier we ch we took off the NA alias setting from that, and now what we're going to do is we're just going to play with some of our um, some of our levels here a little bit. Uh, using your lasso tool, you don't have to be perfect with it. Just kind of go through and select some areas that you would like to see go just a shade darker. Um, use your your line art to kind of guide you on this one where you see the the patterns of the black going in that's where you want to kind of darken up a little bit adding muscle structure things like that gonna be maybe a little bit jagged with some things again it's not a science just kind of wherever you feel like you want things to just darken up a little bit. And go ahead and go over all of your colors. You don't have to stick to one particular color on this one. These areas will probably be darker under here. So I'm just kind of freely kind of playing around with the lasso tool here. So I won't do too much just so we can kind of see the effect. And now I'm just going to go into my hue and saturation adjustments. And I'm going to take the lightness down a little bit. Maybe saturation up a little bit. And what that's going to do is that's going to add some sharp contrast in the tones here. Uh, there are a few different ways you can do that. You can burn it if you want. Uh, you can use the hue and saturation. It's totally up to you. We can get the same effect a few different ways. I just kind of like the uh, hue and saturation myself because it allows you to change darkness and tone at the same time uh, without having to do them both together um, like you do with the burn tool. So uh, there you see we've added some kind of uh, just highlights and, and shadows and we're going to be playing around with them just a little bit more in just a minute here. Um, but one quick reminder Make sure that during the process you save your work a lot. Every time you take a major step, uh, anytime you come to a middle ground, it's all it takes is a control S just to save real quick. Um, again, that's if you're using PC. Just a, a quick control S and there you go, you're nice and saved and you don't lose any work because we all know that Photoshop crashes can be devastating if you're not prepared. So um, let's uh, make sure that everybody's saving during this process. So. Uh, I'm going to continue on with some more. Now again, we're only using this part, uh, these the lasso tool, just for the shadows, the highlights we're going to do with the brush. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to do some more lasso um, shadows in here. And I'll come back and we'll pick up where we left off in just a few minutes here. So we'll see you back in a minute.